Hakun to you and yours, and thank you for joining me. Uh, my name is Mary, my company's name is Moira's Light, and I am here today to talk about bubbles, spiritual bubbles, the meaning and the science behind getting spiritual uh, bubbles and identifying what they mean. There's so many, depending on, on your faith, you're gonna have different takes i am just going to give you the one that i've always known uh, and i've heard from different other uh faiths and shamans we use water to transmit energy it's a beautiful way of moving energy and those ripples uh certainly make a difference when uh we use water uh, water we use to hydrate ourselves so the energy within our bodies are actually constantly moving and making a difference. It actually hydrates us. It makes us feel good. It cleanses us, right? So there's many things that water does. Water is universal. And no matter where you go, you're going to find water at some level, at some point. Um, let's take the scientific Part of it when you get and I'm looking at my pool as 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 and the lake behind it as I'm talking about this when you get what happens how how do how do bubbles happen how bubbles happen when the nitrogen and the oxygen that's in the liquid itself uh, they combine and and you see them actually forming and adding. You don't, I mean, you have to really be sitting there and looking at all the bubbles forming, but they form at the edges of the glass. That's nitrogen and oxygen. That's a scientific part of it. Um, so we take that, but now let's look at it in the spiritual side what's inside that bubble is what is being grabbed and pushed against the glass and held for many different reasons now the size of the bubble tells you everything if you're having a hard time sleeping or your children are having a hard time sleeping get a nice clear glass of water nice tap water cool tap water Put your hand over it, hold it on the bottom, and give it a nice prayer. Whatever prayer you want, Reiki, whatever it is that your intuition tells you, because there's no right or wrong. It's what you are being directed to do for this person or for this situation. You can't go wrong. You really can't, because you're being divinely guided. Put that under the bed. The next morning or the next couple of mornings, you're going to see that there is uh, going to be, uh, sometimes, depending, bubbles all around the place. Some, sometimes you're even drinking from a water bottle and you put it down and like the next day or, um, or in a couple of minutes, there's little bubbles on the inside. Again, scientifically, you've got nitrogen and oxygen. That is a science, but it's what it's capturing that it's grabbing it and pulling it out onto the surface, on the inner surface of whatever tool you're using, cup, water bottle, whatever you want to use. Glass is much better, it's a better medium uh, for many reasons. So if those bubbles are very tiny and there's many of them, Sometimes you're going to see them like a progression and then it's going to stop. You may have one or two or maybe you'll stray one on the other side. That's okay. When they're tiny bubbles, just remember the song, tiny bubbles in the wine, little tiny bubbles. It's a good thing. This is, this is what I've been told and I've grown up with it and it has been to this day. It is what it is. Um, it is what we call fluido. It is a flow, a good spiritual flow. A, it's all your guides, 
all your, all the energy has been trapped in the little bubbles because the little bubbles are the ones that can travel faster and easier through anything. When it's the bigger bubbles, when you see bigger bubbles, you can have a mix of little bubbles and bigger bubbles. This is just symbolic, guys. This is to tell you, hey, your commission or your congregation or your group of celestial helpers are working, are still, they're here, they're actively working with the bigger bubbles because the bigger bubbles means you got something to work on. Cleansings, uh, spiritual baths, uh, getting yourself doused with Florida water, maybe an egg cleansing, something, grounding and cleansing yourself at the beach, uh, letting it all go into the ocean and it will transmute, um, giving yourself meditation and healing with Reiki or with any energy work, they all work, any energy work, how it is that you work through what it is that those big bubbles are signifying, what is a symbolic, what is a symbolism, sorry, um, of that. It is, it's just like astrology. Hey, this is going to happen. No, this is where you need to start working on. Same thing. It's just a different medium. It is a different tool that you're using to let you know. You can do this for your clients. You can do this for your children. You can do this for your family. So if you don't see any little bubbles and you only see big bubbles because that's going to happen, then you really need to listen. This is, a, again, this is a not a warning, but a recommendation that the element of water is telling you, saying, hey, I'm using the element of water to tell me where I am. I got big bubbles. I need to work. I know there's something wrong or else I would not have uh, involved uh, the water element. Same thing with fire. And I'll talk to you guys about fire and uh, how you can identify the symbolism of a flame to what it is that you need to be doing. But for now, we're using water and the, the symbolism behind small bubbles, mixed bubbles, and large bubbles. And there are no small bubbles. And you want to have more small bubbles than big bubbles. Or, uh, and if that's not the case, and it could be, it's just a recommendation that they're telling you, hey, pay attention. This is a tool you're using. We're giving you the information you need to get up your butt and do something about it. Okay? So I want you guys to get a tall glass of water or you can even get a wine glass make sure it's see-through clean it well dry it well make sure that there's no oils in it so wash it well dry it well then I want you to turn on the tap water and leave it on for a couple of seconds not too much we don't want to waste water but turn it on for a couple of seconds turn it off put the cup in and turn it back on doesn't matter the rate of the water. I have no patience, so I just fill it up. Um, and I do have my water temple, which I don't show it to a lot of people because I have a lot of energy in there. Um, but you can certainly just have one, a one glass water temple, um, or you can have, like, I have many, I have a whole altar uh, as a water temple. And I can go through that with you if you guys want let me know on the comments if you guys want me to go through that and teach you about the water temples um so what you do is you turn off the water turn it back on with a cup in with a glass in and fill it you're going to get your hands you're going to give it reiki you're going to pray you're going to ask for spirit and you're going to ask for all your different guides from different parts of the universe okay and when you do that they're going to come and they're going to concentrate their energy there the idea the symbolism here is 
just as clear as you can see through the water and your glass, that is how clear you want to get the message of what you need to do as far as cleansing yourself and anything that may be coming. And it'll be produced to you with bubbles. Now, oh my God, when you don't have bubbles, what does that mean? It means you're okay. It means you need to do some inner work. Has nothing to do with spirituality right now. This has to do with mama. Mama needs to have work done. Try it out. Send me pictures of your of your glass and the bubbles and how they um, how they line up. Some of them you can you can actually be able to decipher lines. Uh, some of them are going to be all over the place. That doesn't mean anything. It just means how the uh, nitrogen and the oxygen work together and your your spiritual helpers um, are giving you the symbolism you need to get the information that you require to move forward so let me know take pictures show me show me what you got and we'll talk about it because we can also do readings from your bubbles all right so I'll see you soon thank you for sharing bye-bye